you doing that? Odin had that statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. <laughs> Members me. Why you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Uh, Mokuno Huntunku. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. Kind of mad for a moment. Now that you thought I said you were friends of Odin, you'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. I don't think we should disturb Yomangandar without some reason. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won. The Vanir have proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Enough. No stories. Not while well on foot. Our you focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. this gate.
you who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Boy. They've taken three of sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, somebody. Father? This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Famu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. The proud Famu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person who didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. of one, yes. A very, very giant chisel. Oh, neat trick, lad. Thanks. His idea. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze <gasps> everything. <laughs> this is locked up good.
find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need.